bookish friends happy monday it is the first day of this reading vlog so today i meant to be productive because it's pretty late in the day it's it's 4 30. i was gonna film earlier but camera dead not turning on so i was gonna do a bunch of planning today and some reading do a lot of listening to my audiobook but that didn't happen i didn't i had a I don't know what happened to the day. I don't. I I added books to my TBR and I went into my TBR because I have it written. I have it typed out, and I added all of the sequels to every series that's on there. So I got that updated, and I planned my video for tomorrow, which I can't film because my normal camera isn't working. So I'll have to film that and edit it and post it tomorrow. And I'm in the process of switching editing software and moving videos over so that's a little frustrating because that's taking a little bit longer than I want and my booktubeathon reading vlog isn't up yet because we're having massive problems with that uploading to YouTube and frustrating technology so we have to get that moved over to our hard drive and then move to a different editing software so then I can finish editing it and then combine it all together to make one reading vlog plus add the wrap up and then upload it so huh, frustration technology is supposed to work it's not working <laughs> anyway yesterday I started Timeless by Alexander Menor it is one of my favorite books I've already read it twice and this is this is my third reread I have not read this book in like five years so I'm excited. I got to page like 88 yesterday before I was like, I have to go to bed. Um, so I'm hoping to read most of this tonight. And then there is a novella I just found out about called, <laughs> called Secrets of the Time Society. Um, so I checked that out through the app Libby, which lets you check out Kindle books and audiobooks from your local library. So I checked that out because it's 23 pages. So really, really quick read. Um, I was hoping to read more of Timeless today. But that didn't happen. And I don't know how much I'll get read tonight. But we'll see because I was hoping to have the novella read today. And then I'm going to read the second book in this duology called Timekeeper. And on audiobook I'm currently listening to Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray. It is the third in the Diviner series fourth book's not out yet. I'm about two hours into that and I was hoping to listen to more of it today while planning but I got sucked into book two. I got sucked into fixing my TBR. I honestly, I mean I don't know for sure what happened with today but it happened so tomorrow will be better. So I'm really enjoying that so far. It's kind of just picking up where um, layer of dreams left off the whole crew is getting together they're working on strengthening their powers and I don't for sure know the whole plot of the book yet I didn't read the synopsis I don't plan on reading the synopsis I plan on just figuring out what's happening in this book through reading the book so I am waiting for Ross to come home so that we can head out to pint night he should be home soon and then when we come home from pint night I am going to uh, read. I'm gonna read a little bit. Have dinner. Yeah. Oh, yesterday. Yesterday I went to Barnes and Noble and I picked up. I meant to pick up Never Fade, but they didn't have Never Fade, so I had to order it off of Amazon. So I went ahead and got Never Fade, um, In the Afterlight, and the novella Bind Up Through the Dark, all from Amazon. So those should be here tomorrow. I'm really excited to jump back into the Darkest Minds world. But while at Barnes & Noble, I did get pick up these two journals so that I could write down my thoughts and um, quotes and stuff like that from books I'm reading. So this is going to be my physical copy um, notebook and this is going to be my audio notebook because I listen to, I do both at the same time. I always have an audio book going, always. And I typically always have a physical book as well. And so... I didn't want them to be in the same notebook because it would be really confusing to have like one page be one book and then the next page be another and my thoughts were all jumbled so I got two different notebooks. 
and I don't typically read ebooks. If I do, it takes place of the physical physical book um, that I have. So I always have an audiobook and then I always have another book. Either it's a physical book or an ebook, but typically it's a physical book. And then I also picked up this Luna Lovegood bookmark because I love Luna so much. She I have I have her pump I have her Funko Pop as well. She is I think she was my first Funko Pop, my first Harry Potter Funko Pop. I only have Hagrid as well. Um, I would like I would like some more Funko Pops, but I have to collect them. I can't just get all of them at the same time. So I love Luna Lovegood so much, so I wanted to get this bookmark. I have the Ron Weasley bookmark. It's in one of my books that I picked up and then never finished. I actually have three bookmarks in three different books that I haven't finished. Um, <laughs> so I need to either get those out of the books or finish the books. I have true obsession with bookmarks. I love them so much. See you guys later. Bye. Okay, update. I actually have seven bookmarks and random books. Seven. I just counted. I still can't find my Ron Weasley one. It's in one of these books. But Ron Weasley makes seven. Random books. Haven't finished. Oops. And happy Tuesday it is the afternoon here I have been doing a little bit of editing I did a little bit of filming I have to do some more editing and and some reading today 120 and timeless it's not as far as I would have liked to get yesterday but after dinner Ross and I watched two episodes of Grimm and then we worked on moving me from using the GoPro for filming to the actual Canon camera. That took way too long to figure out, to mess with, and so I'm just back to the GoPro. Um, we're gonna try to still work on the camera to see, but I don't know, we'll, we're the, that's a whole like lens issue and tripod issue and maybe just getting myself a camera I don't know we'll have to figure that out so within the book I forgot how insta lovey timeless is they meet for the first time and all of a sudden it's like oh my god I feel things and I don't want to let you go and I feel like I've known you for so long and it's like what <laughs> so my love for these two characters together from re my past two rereads kind of is projecting onto them now. <laughs> I'm trying to look past that. It is super insta-lovey and the writing is simplistic and easy to get through. With all of my editing I need to do, I don't know if I will be able to finish it today, which is unfortunate because I was hoping to finish Timeless today and uh, Secrets of the Time Society and then start Timekeeper so that I could start reading Never, F or so I could read the novella and Never Fade for the Darkest Minds series. But you know what they say, make a plan and then it just gets ruined. We'll see how much reading I get done today. I am expecting some bookish mail today, so I will show you guys what I get. I'm gonna go do some more editing and have lunch and do some reading and I will update you guys later. My book mail came in. I already cut open the packages so it'd be easier to show you guys. So the first book I got is Through the Dark. This is the novella bind up for the Darkest Minds trilogy. It's got three novellas in it and you are supposed to read the first one before Never Fade, the second one before In the Afterlight, and the third one after you've read all of the trilogy. And then I also got Never Fade, which is the second book in the Darkest Minds trilogy. And In the Afterlight, which is the third book in the Darkest Minds trilogy. With exclusive stories. 
that. So I'm really excited to continue on with this series. I got all the books. Hello, good evening. It is Wednesday night. I haven't done an update earlier today. I've been a little bit busy. There was a big storm that rolled through last night and made it hard to sleep. It was the winds were so strong that it knocked over our grill. I slept in a little bit today and then woke up and did a bunch of editing. I edited the rest of the book tipathon reading vlog and I edited the getting to know me video. Both of them are up now. So after I did the editing, I just read all day. I am nearly done with Timeless. I have less than 30 pages left so my goal is to finish this tonight and then I'm gonna start Secrets of the Time Society which is like a 23 page novella so I will fly through that. I am not loving this book as much as I remember loving it the first two times I read it. I have a few problems with the romance and with a few conflicts in the book being solved very quickly and it doesn't make sense to me. This is also the first book that I have started taking notes on. So I have about two whole pages of notes in my new notebook. I need to get better about taking notes while I'm listening to my audiobooks. But if you could tell, I have started tabbing my books and writing down quotes and things like that. And I think it's helping me understand the story more and be a little bit more engaged with the story and be a little bit more critical as well. I did not listen to Before the Devil Breaks You at all today. I have 15 hours left. Um, so I'm going to try to get a chunk of that read tomorrow. And then it's supposed to be due, I think, on Saturday because I borrowed it from the library, but I won't be done. I'm hoping I can renew my loan before the book disappears because I would like to finish this book. Well, I'm going to finish up the last bit of Timeless, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hello, good afternoon. Happy Thursday. I have not done, like, anything today. I went for a walk with Berlin, listened to a little bit of Before the Devil Breaks You, and I am getting all of my Theta time in this book. I'm loving that she's more in this book than in the other books. I don't know how I feel about this book. I really loved the first book, and I loved the second book less. And this book, I'm just... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this book yet, but I still have 13 hours left in this audiobook to figure out how I think about this book. It's good, and I'm definitely enjoying Theta's story, but I haven't figured out what this book is about yet. Like... What is the plot for this book? Where? I don't know. But last night I did finish Timeless. I still enjoyed the story. It was really cute. I had, I had more problems with the book than I used to. And I really wish it was actually longer and it explored more of what was in the book. Yes, hello. Yes, hello. Do you want to be in here? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for your kisses. Thank you for your kisses. You're very sweet. I don't know what that sound is, Berlin, but it's okay. So I wish that it was longer and it explored more of the themes that were in the book. I felt like it was a little bit rushed. But also back in like 2010, 2011, and 2012, those like typical books that were coming out were a lot shorter than books are nowadays. Books nowadays delve deeper into all the subplots and things like that and I think back when this book was published and the books were shorter they didn't do that so much. I understand that but it also just kind of makes me sad because this book was good and had the potential to be really good and I remember loving it when I read it the first two times I read it. Um, I don't remember much of anything about Timekeeper whatsoever. So it's going to be really interesting for me to go back and read that. I am going to go film a video and then I've got to do some packing. Okay, at some point today I want to pick up 
Secrets of the Time Society. I'm gonna read it on my phone because it's an ebook I borrowed from my library through Libby. We have a pretty busy afternoon. We've gotta go run a bunch of errands. Um, I may be able to start it before Ross gets home. It depends on how quickly I film this video and how quickly I pack and have lunch because I still have to have lunch. So we'll see if I get to it before tonight. I have never read this novella. I didn't find out about it until a couple days ago. How I didn't know about it, don't ask me. I don't know. So I am going to go actually do things today and I'll update you guys later. Hello and happy Friday. Today I finished the novella Secrets of the Time Society. I'm not quite sure how I feel about it yet. I rated it 3.5 stars on Goodreads, but I think until I read Timekeeper, I won't really know how I feel because it was really short and only like a brief introduction to this character. I don't think it was long enough, but it did make me excited to read Timekeeper again, especially since I don't remember anything about Timekeeper. So I have already picked up that and I've listened a little bit more to Before the Devil Breaks You. I love Theta and watching her crumble in this book is heartbreaking to me and I don't know how I'm going to deal. But for now, we're at a wedding! At a vineyard! Woohoo! Say hi, Ross! Hello! So, we're gonna go harder than at away! Sunday. I didn't do much reading this weekend because it was very busy. We had our wedding on Friday and then Saturday my mom, one of her friends and I went to a quilt show for most of the morning and the beginning of the afternoon and then after that Ross took me to Half Price Books and I got a bunch of books. After that we met some of our friends for dinner and then we got some drinks and we were up really late. <laughs> I didn't go to bed till 1 and I'm usually way asleep by 1 o'clock. And then this morning, we just kind of had a chill morning. I took a nap, like, almost immediately after getting up. And then we went to Ikea, and I got my bookshelf. I am so excited. My little brother is going to put it together, and I'm going to put all my books on it. Oh, I'm just so excited to put it in my studio. And then we drove home, and now we're here. And so I will show you the books I got from um, Half Price Books. I left them out where Berlin could get them and she chewed on three of them and I'm so angry. I am so angry. But that is okay. That's fine. I forever love her. Uh, the first book I got is Frankenstein by Mary Shelley. <laughs> Berlin ate it down here. But um, this is one of the classics I got this weekend. I'm really excited to read this book. I also got The Strange and Beautiful Sorrows of Ava Lavender by Leslie Walton and Berlin ate it up here. See, see, mm, sad book. I got the first book of the Mortal Instruments series, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. So now I have books one, two, three, and four. And now I just need five and six. And Berlin ate this one down here. <laughs> I'm so sad. Next, my other classic is Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is like a reprinted version of it. And I just noticed that there's like claw marks from Berlin on it. So it's not destroyed, but it's marked up. Sad. Um, I also got the Best Beloved Stories by Hans Christian Andersen. This is a sparkly book. Sparkly book. It's not all of his fairy tales, but it's some of them in there illustrated in this sparkly. I also got Saga Volume 2 by Brian K. Vaughan and Fiona Staples. I read Saga Volume 1 
for Booktubeathon, and I really loved it. And so when I found it there. I was really excited. And the last book I got. I'm struggling. And the last book I got is The Complete Grim Fairy Tales. <laughs> I'm so excited. This has 211 fairy tales, and I, I'm just so excited to eat these stories up. So, so that's what I got from Half Price Books, and that's been my week. I hope you guys have enjoyed this reading vlog, and I will see you next week. Bye.